hello guys welcome back welcome back to my channel uh, so if you have seen my uh, previous video of gps you i had mentioned um, the spread spectrum technique now you must be thinking what is this spread spectrum technique okay, why this is why this has been used in the gps so it has got reasons and i'll explain it to you uh, this is a brief introduction of spread spectrum technique and not in deep so this is a basic introduction okay the, after watching this video till the last okay you will understand at least basic what is spread spectrum technique so now what is spread spectrum spread spectrum is a method by which a signal it can be electrical electromagnetic acoustics anything which is generated with a particular bandwidth uh, is deliberately spread in the frequency domain so the original signal which we are supposed to trans transmit is deliberately spread over uh, the frequency domain as the name only suggests spread spectrum so we are spreading the spectrum of the signal okay resulting in a signal with a wider bandwidth now if you have if you know okay uh, we plot the signal on uh, x x and y axis where where your y axis is amplitude and x axis is a frequency so uh, I'll, I'll show you in the diagram okay in the next slide so you you should know that it is a, uh, it is a method by which a particular bandwidth is deliberately spread in the frequency domain resulting in a signal with a wider bandwidth okay now why spread spectrum why we cannot uh, transfer the original signal okay now it has got a reason because the reasons including the establishment of a secure communication so we are securing the communication after spreading the signal okay uh, the the foreign particles cannot enter the signal or there uh, there cannot be a noise inside okay um, okay it can be the noise can interfere but a very small like 0.1 percent like that so in and it also increasing resistance to natural interference so there cannot be a natural interference also see here now we, uh, you can see that is normal signal versus spread spectrum of signal now on the left hand side you can see amplitude versus frequency okay now that is a normal signal now if we transfer this this signal okay there can be uh, there can be uh, some natural interference which will be interfering okay and after on the right hand side we can see that we have spread the spectrum okay now this is the type of signal which we are transferring spread spectrum now if you can see the bandwidth is widened okay on the in the frequency domain so in the frequency the bandwidth is increasing that's what it is the spread spectrum signal so if you have liked this video if you have gained at least some knowledge about the uh, about uh, spread spectrum technique please hit that like button please uh, subscribe to my channel okay uh, pre press the bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video okay, and thank you